Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today I've got a bit of a journal haul for you from both my birthday, which was in October, and um, Christmas. So yeah, let's get on with it because I've got quite a few to get through. First, I'll go through my birthday pile. Or, well, it's my birthday pile, but also just journals that I bought with my own money because I'm... Um, I am a stationary alcoholic, if that even makes any sense. So the first one is this brown fake leather journal. I think Paperworm had one similar but in black. Um, I also have one in black that I filled up. Well, I say filled up. I have never managed to fill one of these up because my journals always tend to get really fat and this book is very thick in itself anyway. But um, I do... They, in the supermarkets that we have, they have them in red, black and brown and I have the red and black ones already used in my stash so I thought why not sort of like complete the uh, set and get the brown one and this time when I get round to using it I'll try not to stick as much stuff in um, so hopefully I can actually make it the whole way through. <laughs> okay, next I have uh, this moleskin. It's the first ever moleskin that I've ever bought in my entire life because, in my opinion, moleskins are really expensive for just a notebook when you can get like the same thing but cheaper and just as good quality. But anyways, I found this one in TK Maxx, which is perfect because it's Harry Potter. I mean, it's the Marauder's Map theme in this like deep, gorgeous deep red and um... On the back it has mischief managed. Um, then the inside cover. I mean, look at that. That is, ugh, it's absolutely stunning. Um, and the back has a similar design. I assume that this is meant to be the maze from um, Order of the Phoenix. Oh, not Order of the Phoenix, um, Goblet of Fire. And then um, there's the paper. So yeah, there's that one. Next up, I got this from TK Maxx as well. And it's got a quote from Buddha on the front because I'm getting quite into spirituality and getting more, less um, Wiccan, more into the witchy spiritual Buddhism kind of. I don't know, I'm very all over the place with what I believe in, but... Anyway, this is also from TK Maxx. Um, oops. That's what it looks like on the inside. I think the brand is called Fringe or something. Yeah, Fringe. Um, and yeah, I just, I love that. Um, this one is from a place called Hardwick Hall. And it's literally down the lane from where I now live. Um, it's kind of like, I don't know if any other countries have this, but we have this thing called the National Trust, which is like different parks and nature reserves that are like sort of protected where you can go and like walk around old manor houses and that kind of thing. Um, this is one of them. And Hardwick Hall is actually the inspiration behind Malfoy Manor, which is really interesting. But this is a quote from, I think, possibly either one of the founders of Hardwick Hall or one of the, like, ladies that lived there. And I just thought it was really poetic. Um, it's not the best of notebooks. Like, it's just really, like, blue-bound and stiff. But I thought I'd get it because it's a nice colour and the quote is nice and, yeah. <laughs> Next, we have this um, gorgeous journal. Um, it's Mad Hatter themed because I'm I love the Mad Hatter and that kind of Jokerish kind of theme. Um, and it's just plain lined paper. Which these journals are usually quite expensive too, but I saw this cheaper so usually I don't like spiral bound but because I saw it at a good price and the design I liked I was like meh whatever I'll go for it <laughs> um 
This is um, from a shop called Neon Sheep. It's new to Lincoln, which is the city I go to university in. Um, and this was during the sale. Um, they have really, really nice stationery and notebooks. It's well made. The lines are great. The paper quality is great. It's there was so many different ones to choose from, but I went for this one because I love um, galaxy and space and yeah. I just I really I can't wait to start this one. I think it'll be really fun. Next we have this one. Um, it's like a little narwhal on the cover. It's absolutely gorgeous. That's the back. That's the um, brand, I guess. And the paper inside is plain. So yeah, that one's really pretty. I think I'll probably use this one for like next Christmas or something because it's got very wintry vibes. Next up is this one, which I saw in one of those, um, I don't know what you call the shops. You know the shops where they sell all like the Wiccan stuff and candles and incense and that kind of thing. Um, I do remember what that symbol's called. I'm sorry. I know that it's possibly Nordic. I think it's Nordic. I can't remember. Anyway, so yeah. And paper is plain. If I don't use this as a journal, I'll probably end up using it as a book of shadows one day. Um, so yeah, that's really nice. <laughs> and the last one that I got for my birthday, slash just bought on my own, is this oops, Star Wars one because I'm, I love, I adore Star Wars. It's one of my biggest fandoms. Um, I kept the box because it just, it was really cute. I mean, who doesn't love that classic poster? But this is what the actual book looks like. It's meant to be like um, a VHS tape. Um, that's the back. And then look at this, look at the inside. <laughs> okay, that was awful, but you get the idea. Um, so yeah, it's just really authentic, I guess. Really nice. Um, Okay, now on to my Christmas pile. Uh, I guess I'll start with the pens that I got this year. Also, sorry. <laughs> These are little hole punch things. That, whatever. Okay. Got this pen with a J on for my name. <laughs> um, I got this mermaid pen. Um, this one's really cool. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like moving. It's kind of like a lava lamp. Um, and I got a set of gel pens with the Harry Potter insignia on them. Um, then, oops, I think I'll show the bookmark first. <laughs> I know this isn't really technically stationary, but look at this bookmark. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, so, first uh, journal slash notebook I got was from my best friend. It's from Paper Chase and it's got like a page for each day of the year. It's not dated or anything, it just literally has that day's like number of the year. Um, originally I was going to think, get my words out, originally I was going to use it with like journal prompts or creative writing prompts. But because it's only like A6, I don't think that one page would be enough. So I think instead I'm going to use it as a gratitude journal so that, you know, each day I've got something grateful for. That, oh my gosh, my English is so bad. I, each day there is something that I will be grateful for. And um, yeah. Uh, then there's this one. It's kind of small. It's not. A5, it's not A6, it's like in the middle. I don't know what size that is. Um, and the inside looks like this. It's really nice. 
Um, and these are from my mum. These are so nice. It's a set of um, sticky notes. Um, and like little post-it notes. It's really cute. <laughs> Definitely be using that in summer. Um, I got this notebook. Eh. Usually I don't like when it says notes on the cover because it, like it's a journal for me. But I'm either going to use this to continue on like actually doing notes or I'll just put a sticker over that when I get around to using it. Um, next is this one. I actually thought it was a pencil case at first because it's got like a zip. Um, which I now have to try and open with one hand. Oh no, there it is. I've got it. Hold on a second, sorry. Okay, there we go. Um, it's got this notebook inside, which I might switch out and put a nicer notebook in, but I don't know. We'll see when I get around to using it. But yeah, that's that one. It's like puffy and yeah. Very nice. <laughs> then there's this one, another gorgeous one, because <laughs> uh, everyone knows I like cats. <laughs> it's got this big puffy like pocket in the front, and then each section has different kinds of paper. So this one's lined, this one's grid paper, and I think this one's blank. Oh no, it's a to-do list kind of thing, checklist. So that's really nice. I don't think I'll actually keep it as a notebook, but ripping out the pages to use in my everyday journal will be really nice. Next up is this one with loads of stitch on the front. I can definitely see myself using this in summer. It's lightweight and slightly bigger than A5 and yeah, who doesn't love stitch? He's so cute. Um, then there's this one, which is also slightly bigger than A5. Um, really, really gorgeous, like, cacti design. Um, by this guy. <laughs> and the paper's plain, but it's also kind of thick. So, I don't know if you can kind of... <laughs> I don't know if that really uh, portrays the thickness of the paper, but anyway. If I don't use this as a journal, I was thinking of maybe using it as a sketchbook because the paper is quite thick. Um, I don't think it, it would handle like watercolour very well, but definitely for sketching it would be great. And last but not least, <laughs> I have this one, which is sort of like an exercise notebook. Um, I actually chose this out for myself um, and then it was gifted to me. and. There were different um, like classes, so there was like one for potions, one for transfiguration, that kind of thing. But if I was at Hogwarts, then Care for Magical Creatures would definitely be my favourite class. <laughs> so that's the inside cover. Um, it's kind of like a composition notebook. So yeah, it's really cute. So yeah, thank you for watching my stationery haul. Uh, my current journal is almost finished, so I should be doing a flip through of that very soon. Um, and can't wait to see you all in that video. Bye everyone.